Welcome. Here for a show? Ticket for one, please. The theater of Rallur awaits you behind those doors. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. Yeah. He was just a 10-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. Yeah. I shaved him from head to toe. Did you hear that? No. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. My dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Oh, here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god, come on. Oh my god. Sweet Jesus. Oh. Yeah. That always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I 
the great Benjamin Lazarus will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? Let's do that again. Hmm? Alright. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm ah. to watch the show. I'm Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival rules. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. You hear that? Is no one man enough? Come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? <clears throat> Take aim. Oh, the fight is too much. And fire. You don't knock his teeth down. Gentlemen, death is just an illusion, after all. A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in the lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino!
<laughs> Incredible! Bravo! Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies, she'd turn them into bacon! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that, Joe. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin! Kaninsky! Hello! Thanks for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone. Because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! Hello. I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine all right. This gal just can't leave. calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from Tune. She is a siren, 
singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night, dream well, and come back soon.